What I found, and it's been also demonstrated elsewhere, is that the crop residue definitely inter intercepts uh, soil applied herbicides, and uh, the heavier the residue, the more is intercepted. But also for most herbicides, such as the triazines, the metolachlor, the peroxisulfones, and others that are fairly uh, water soluble, uh, they wash readily from the residue, and so they're not lost to the system. Uh, that's not true for all herbicides. Uh, the dinitrolanilins like trifluralin will bind irreversibly. And so if you have a heavy residue with something like trifluralin, uh, it's going to affect efficacy because it's not going to reach the soil. So that, that's, a, I think, one of the take-home messages is the residue is there. The herbicides generally will wash off, but if you don't get a good rainfall, uh, it is lost to the soil system. If it's tied up in the residue, then it's not available to the emerging weeds. And these herbicides need to be available to the weeds as they germinate and, and grow through the soil. But the fortunate thing is, you, you know, your crop's not going to come up and the weeds aren't going to come up until there's rainfall. And the rainfall will generally wash about 70 to 80 percent of, of the herbicide off the residue and put it into the soil.